Well, I suppose I've always had a curious interest in submarines, and I think the first news event that uh, really captured my attention as a child was the sinking of the USS Thresher in April 1963, which brings us to this model of the forerunner of modern submarines. This is the uh, Confederate submarine, H.L. Hunley, and as you can see, it has the form, the shape, of how most of us envision how a submarine should look. Uh, the length of the Hunley was approximately 40 feet, but the beam was less than 4 feet, so the eight men inside the Hunley remained in a sitting down position as they hand cranked a shaft to move the submarine's propeller. The armament the Hunley used was a 90 pound keg of gunpowder and spar attached to a protruding pole in front of the Hunley's bow, and the method used for an attack would be for the Hunley to get close to a Union ship and jam the spar into it. And a crew member of the Hunley would then release and detonate the keg of gunpowder, damaging or sinking the adversary. The Hunley was built in Mobile, Alabama in 1863 by private investors. The submarine was engineered from uh, a steam boiler, uh, that cylinder shape that uh, was so common in uh, the design of locomotives of the period. Uh, it had tapered ends. Uh, after initial test in Mobile Bay, the submarine was transported by railroad to Charleston, South Carolina, where the Hunley undertook several additional water trials in Charleston Harbor, but these trials unfortunately resulted in the sinking of the sub and the loss of two separate crews, but uh, the Hunley was recovered both times and reconditioned for its first engagement of battle on February 17, 1864, with the uh, sinking of the Union ship Housatonic.